everyone. I'm just back to share a couple of more journals with you. And these are TN journals and uh, the standard size, which measures eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And for these, both these journals, I've used the Daydreaming Kit from Calico Collage. And um, I will just, I will link that down below if you'd like to go and check out uh, the shop. Um, and this is a beautiful kit. It has some gorgeous, vibrant colours and um, it's mostly uh, like cottage garden um, images. So one of them is a blank journal and this one is an embellished journal. So I'll show you the embellished one first. Um, and these will both be listed in my Etsy shop. So for the cover, I've just used some nice thick cardstock, which I've stitched all around the edge. And I've just put a little nice piece of lace around the bottom. And we've just got seam binding for the closure. And some of the pages and some of the journal cards I've printed out on some white textured card. So I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but this is uh, one of the pictures. I did actually resize a couple of pages as well, which I think this is one of them that I've done that. I've backed it onto some muslin sewn around the edge. And then on the inside, I've done a little bit of collaging here again, I've um, printed out another page, which I've used. Uh, this is actually the journaling paper that comes with the kit. And I've torn that and inked it and just done a nice pattern around the, around the edge. So there's quite a lot of nice journaling cards with this, with this kit. I've put, and the story begins on the back there. And this is some more of the textured paper, which I really love the effect that that gives. And I think these have about 40 pages front and back. Then the front and back page is printed out onto some vellum and that's another page from the kit. And I really love how you can see the bird image under there. This is another textured page added some lace tabs at the top there's lots of space for writing in this one we have another pocket and a couple more tags i've done some big flip outs as well it's a little tuck spot there with a couple of tags A book page from a wildflower book. Got another little corner pocket here, another tag, and uh, this is a also for from some paper that was left over that I've just cut down. This is a bird page, um, and this is from my shell country book. So, and I didn't cover that up, but of course you can put some paper on that if you wanted to right over the top of it. But I just thought it would be nice to just leave the page as it is so that you can read a little bit about the birds. The paper bag here. And then I also done for each journal a collaged envelope made from book paper. So just added some buttons, lace, and that's the actual wording from the kit. Done a little bit of sewing and collaging. And then inside here is just a piece of stamped calico, and that's a lily of the valley. That's a sentiment from the kit and a spare piece of paper, well, piece of card. So you can see beautiful, vibrant colours. Then I have a little 
leaf charm in the middle. Another tag. You get a couple of these strips in the kit, which I've just made a small tuck spot there. That's the other side of the page about the birds. Got another flip out and there's just a place there for a title. Did another little tuck spot there with some lace, a little piece from the kit and a couple of buttons. That's another journal card. Got a tuck, top corner tuck. And here I've done another collage from a piece of the paper which I've stitched. A couple more journal cards. And that's the back of that one. So I'll just show you the blank journal. This one also has 40 pages front and back. So I've done the same thing here. We've got a cardstock cover that's been stitched, another image that's been printed onto the textured paper. Then you have a nice piece of lace around the back. And this one will come with a little goodie bag of extras. These are some of the corner pockets from the kit. There's two of those. And we have a little journal card. This is the collaged envelope that I did for this one. Again, that's another piece of the paper that I've just torn, inked up, put the lace and the button. I've just done a little bit of collaging on the back. And this one has a little journal card. And then we still, we have the same vellum page at the front and the back. This is my favourite page. So this one is just blank. Um, I don't think I added any other pockets in it. So we've got a big flip out page. The papers came out, really loved the tea dyeing on this one. This is some antique paper uh, that I bought from Amazon, which you can actually print on. Some parchment, piece of book paper. Got the paper bag for some extra storage. And we've got another page about some birds. Got the feather in the middle. So you can really do your own thing with this book. And they're not too thick, so they should fit quite nicely in your Midoris or Fodoris. Another big flip out page. That's the printable antiqued paper. That's the vellum. And that's the back. There we go. Okay, so that's my two journals. Um, thanks for, very much for watching today and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.